This time I'll talk about some of the unusual characteristics of magnetic loops compared with other antennas. With most antennas, the higher the better. Let's see if this is the case with a magnetic loop. I'm tuning 10 metres at the moment and conditions are good. As you can see the antenna is flat, really close to the ground. Not hearing much of a signal at all. I change it at right angles and it's like chalk and cheese. Now with most antennas, the higher it is, the better the transmitted signal. And that should also be true for received signals. Let's have a listen to the loop and see what difference height makes. Not much difference at all. Another thing I want to demonstrate is what happens when you put two magnetic loops close together. I'm listening to VK3 RMH on this loop. It's a 10 metre beacon about 60 kilometres from here. It's a very low signal. VK3 RMH is plainly readable. It brought up the noise, but also the signal. In fact, the signal is better than before. Now off the null. And the spacing is very critical. It's about 50 centimetres or so. Positioning the loop this way doesn't have any effect at all. It must be parallel. The conclusion, two loops is better than one.